Rhyme Zone's been there from the start. Man. <laughs> rhyme Zone. The secrets. These are the rhyme secrets. Rhyme Zone's been killing it, man. Yeah. Anytime I want a rhyme, it knows everyone. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be disgustingly sycophantic here because the song that we've chosen as my chosen one this week, mm. Beautiful Faces, is outstanding, right? I couldn't think of a bigger compliment than a combination of Beck and Bowie. I think it's magical. It's a That's really, okay. really strong tune. Oh, thank Tell you. Tell us the story behind it. Go and paint a picture for us. Um, so I wrote it just over a year ago, I suppose. A little bit more than that, maybe. Um, and it... it it was one of those songs that just happened very quickly. I was writing with one of my friends, Max, and I just brought this Prophet synth, and it was just this, like, audacious, like, engine sound that we got out of it. And I was like, oh, we could do something with this, and kind of got this acoustic guitar out. And I don't know, it was one of those songs where the lyrics happened very, very quickly, and it ended up kind of being, you know, I'm very observant of pop culture, and I love watching, you know, all your... Love Island and things like that and being on the internet, Instagram and all these things and just like, I don't know, seeing how it affects me and seeing how it affects, you know, everyone really is, is very interesting. So I just, I, was, I ended up writing this song that kind of was talking about that in a weird sort of, in a subtle but like, in a way that was just talking about it being kind of scary and intimidating and making you feel like you need to always be doing things. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. It was one of those ones that just happened very quickly. See, Declan, I, I think that's such an important thing for a man. How old are you now? 21? 21. 21, right? So 21. I think for you to articulate how social media affects you is a really important thing because I think everybody, when you weigh it all up, whatever you do in life, you measure yourself against other people. So yeah. when you weigh all that up, does it make you a happier person or across the board, does it kind of affect yeah. you in the wrong way? I just think even even without, so it's not even just social media. I think like just in the world at the minute, there's so many things you can look at that are just so well presented and beautiful and so <laughs> like so like forced and fake. Even even down to my own sort of like art, and that was kind of what I was looking at. Is like we're all kind of culprits of causing this sort of wave of anxiety, but we're also all victims to it. Yeah. And um, yeah. And that's the song, isn't well, it? Beautiful that's Faces. It, yeah. yeah. Well, listen, I think it's really important that you kind of get that across in the song. And like you say, I think it's absolutely brilliant. And it's great to see you three years on from when we first met bringing music out like this. It's outstanding. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you like it. I'm really, really proud of it and, and the rest of the record as well. I'm super excited about it. So. That's me done my sycophancy for today. What's the worst gig you've ever played, Declan? Uh, I'll tell you what... Birmingham on the album tour n no particular reason it was Birmingham but uh, on when we were first touring the first album um, I had tonsillitis and I had it on some of the other shows but this was the night where I I've always struggled with tonsillitis like but I've generally managed to get through gigs this was the f first time when I just I remember at one point I put my guitar down and it kind of unleashed this veil you know I was doing one of the songs where I was just singing with a microphone and it just all just flooded over me like I just should be in bed. bed. Like, why am I here? Like, I was really struggling to reach high notes, and not even just that. I just felt hot and bothered, and just it, it was not a comfortable position to be in. And I got I got through it. I think we did all right. It's yeah. one of those ones where probably in the crowd you wouldn't have had too much of an idea that I was unwell, but I was really really struggling that time. Character and building. Just in just in terms of yeah myself not feeling particularly great about it. That was. About it. We've had some, you know, calamity sound checks and things like that, but that that's the one that comes to mind. Yeah. That's a good one. But I mean, that's the thing when you're 20 years old and touring, do you think you're most susceptible to falling ill? Do you have to behave yourself? Do you clip your wings? You do. I mean, I've just always been susceptible to to that kind of illness um, since I was very young. I have huge tonsils, so they just catch things. There you go. Uh, that's, 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 that's for the posters, true. isn't there it? There you go. You that can take Huge tonsils. I do. Huge tonsils. <laughs> uh, uh, but but it's just inevitable on tour. I mean, you're just in such a small place, a small space with so many people. The venues are not clean generally. Well, the stages at least aren't yeah. clean generally because it's just people walking all over it and all sorts of stuff. Your own equipment equipment isn't clean <laughs> properly really like ever you're it's just, not clean you're not clean <laughs> like nothing is clean yeah. like you're going to get ill and it's like one person gets ill it goes around yeah. the van or the bus or whatever two or three times do you know what i mean it's just like i would get get ill and then two weeks later i'm ill again and it's just like you can't avoid it what about for you on stage have you had one where you had a, a pinch yourself moment i think yeah i'm 
like as you go on the, 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 you know touring more those moments become few and far between I think when we played Kenwich Town Forum that was one because it was just a venue that I'd been to quite a few times and seen some great shows there I think one of the first times I've really really had that was one of the first like sort of big festival gigs we had where we did Latitude and it was just after the album came out and it was like this huge tent that we were playing in and it just looked like it was completely full of people and it was like walking on stage and being like this hasn't happened before I remember like I I was going mad I was I ripped open my shirt during the set and everything I was like properly showing off because I was just loving it but it you do great. that quite a lot I've seen you perform and you get yeah, right into it don't ripping you? off all my clothes you would written on your chest I've run out this is my last shirt <laughs> We had a conversation with Tom from Blossoms the other night and he said that he had an app on his phone where he'd chuck a word into it and it would send something back to him that would sometimes inspire a song title. Really? <laughs> How much do you rely on technology? Is there an algorithm supporting Declan McKenna along the way? Rhyme Zone's been there from the start. <laughs> man. Rhyme Zone. The secrets. These are the rhyme secrets. Rhyme Zone's been killing it, man. Yeah. Anytime I want a rhyme, it knows every one. Does it? It knows every word that I could possibly rhyme. But does anything rhyme with orange? Has that been... Syringe? <laughs> Just about... There's a challenge for the B-side. Well, uh, what? Oh, no, that's purple. <laughs> so, that, yeah, that, you can rhyme a lot of things. There's a lot of things. You, you door hinge. Do yes. Do you know what I mean? You can do it. Oh, door yeah. hinge means... Should six, be a countdown. Six-inch brass door hinge. There's, a, there's, there's memes in there galore. Declan. Go check it out. It's time... <laughs> Any tour dates and festivals because you're doing this is tomorrow, aren't you, with Sam, which will be an amazing festival in Newcastle yes. in May. Can't wait for that. Hopefully, coming as well. Yeah, I'm buzzing. Yeah, that's going to be really, really good. Really great lineup. Good energy. Obviously, yeah. Sam is fantastic. So it's going to be brilliant. He's a great. Listen, we should just mention Sam. He's a friend. He's a friend of mine. He's a yeah, yeah. brilliant human being. Isn't he? What a talent. Yeah, he's just he's just fantastic, and he's just killing it. And the songs are great, and he's just such a lovely person. And yeah, yeah we we uh, you know I remember bringing him on tour when we, when we were playing in Europe a few years ago, and then a year later. It's just like completely, completely gone, yeah. you know, wilder than anyone could have imagined. And it's like great because he's just so class and great man. so, so good at what he does. Will you do anything together? Because I, I think that would be a really nice partnership. Yeah, definitely. We've talked about it a few times. It's just I need to get up to Newcastle and, you know, <laughs> make, make, the di- make the time for it. But it's de- yeah. definitely, definitely got to happen. Or do it, it might happen and then we're like, well, that's a bit naff, isn't it? We'll just leave that. <laughs> I don't know. You could use your little rhyming app. Yeah, right. yeah well, there you go. Rhyme Zone's gonna 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 kind of write the stuff for yeah. us. See if Jordy rhyming works. <laughs> <laughs> Jordy rhyming slang. Yeah, there's probably something. That, uh, we, we definitely. What rhymes with Hawila lads? <laughs> Radio X.